welcome back to Art Time with Mrs. Jones. Today's activity is going to focus on you. Your name is truly unique and special to you. Your grown-up picked it because they loved it so much and they love you so much. So, I hope that you enjoyed listening to the story Chrysanthemum, which I posted along with this video. It is about loving yourself and loving your name and just really truly enjoying being you. So, we are going to be doing an activity using your beautiful name and we are going to be focusing on symmetry. So we are going to write our names symmetrically, we're going to go over that, and we're going to make them into different patterns or different colors or even different creatures. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and grab your supplies and we will get started. All right, for today's lesson, you're going to need just a piece of paper and something to color with. I'm gonna be using marker. And you are going to start by creating a line of symmetry down your paper. So I'm gonna fold this in half. All right, so I'm gonna keep it folded and I'm going to make sure that the fold is facing me right here. Now, I'm gonna take a black marker and write my name across this way. I want to make sure that I am going all the way down to this fold. And if you want to write in print or cursive, that is up to you. I'm going to write mine in cursive. And I have it a little bit different. So I have my J, my O is a little smaller, my N is big, my E is big, and my S is a little bit small got kind of a fun and funky design there. All right, so now I want to be able to trace this on this side. So if you can't quite see it, you may need to go up against the window and look through. I'm going to do that now. All right, so I held it up against the window and I traced it. So as you can see, now my name is backward. I am going to open this up and you will have a mirror image of your name. So for those of you who do not know what symmetry is, it is when things are the same size and shape. It appears as though there is a reflection in a mirror. It's just perfectly balanced. So in this case, the fold in the paper is acting as the mirror. Your name is being reflected on the other side, creating that line of symmetry. Now you are going to take this and make it into something unique. You can add different color patterns in each of these areas. You can make this into faces or any kind of design that you want to make it into. This is where you get to really be creative and make something fun and interesting. So I am going to work on mine and I'll show you my finished product. Okay, so I have decided to cut mine out, and as you saw, I did change to coloring with crayon because I didn't want to smear my black marker, but I thought it would be really cool to glue this onto black paper and just kind of border it. I thought about coloring the whole background black, but that would waste a lot of marker, and I have black paper, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on here. Now, when we are gluing with a glue stick, we need to make sure that we go around the outside edge and we need to work quickly so that our glue doesn't dry before we have time. But we don't wanna put the glue right on the black paper because if it happens to get outside of the lines on there, then we end up with a different color black than the rest of the paper. So I have around the edges, and then I'm going to put some on the middle section. Now while it's shiny and purple, I need to flip it over and rub it into the paper. It's very important that you rub it 
so that it really does adhere to that bottom page. If you don't rub your glue in, then it's going to peel off. So a couple things happen whenever you rub your glue. One is it actually physically pushes it down into the bottom paper. You have pressed it onto this top page, but we really want to make sure that it pushes onto that bottom paper also. The other thing is, is if you rub it hard enough, then it creates friction, which does heat it up just a little bit and helps it mold to it a little bit better also. But I thought that it would look cool on black paper, so I put that on there. If you don't wanna do that, then don't, it's totally fine. But there is my finished product. So when we look at it this way, we can see our name in there. But when we look at it here, we see our design. So I have kind of like a snaky figure here, a snaky figure here, and I don't know, maybe a sloth. He looks kind of cute, I like this guy. But there is my name design. All right guys, that is it for today's lesson. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Remember, you don't have to do creatures, you can do patterns or colors, but I just want you to be creative. So until next time, which will be in the new year, 2021, be safe, but also be creative. It's a great time for you to branch out and just be creative at home. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.